Hey guys, so here is the, um, the masterclass course for forexscalper.io part two, and we have plenty more to come. So let's just take this step by step here. So let's get right into it guys. So for another um, kind of training here, we're gonna just go through the whole system one more time from start to finish, kind of what to expect uh, when the signals update, just basically everything. So. Right now it's 5.31 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Um, now, as you can see, if you click this here, you see that the trading signals, so the PFL and PFH, they only update once per day, okay, on the daily candle close. So it's 5.30, um, 5 p.m. EST is when majority of all assets will, um, will change. So, all the uh, currencies, crypto, and uh, I believe that should be it. And then for indices, um, the signal updates at 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Or you can just check the daily candle close, okay? So we can go into this right now, actually. This daily candle close has not closed yet, but and therefore NASDAQ has not finished updating yet. But if you take a look here, Euro USD, you can see that we just updated 30 minutes ago for Euro USD. If we can count, the day separator should mark soon. One, two. And we have a check mark because we just switched from PFL to PFH. So from bullish to bearish, and it indicates a fresh trend, okay? So that's what the black check mark means. And if we take a look here on the daily, you can see that the daily candle did indeed close. And that's why currency, currency is updated half an hour ago, but indices still have not. It's based off of the daily candle close. So just wanted to clear that up pretty quickly. Um, I know that's gonna be very helpful. So first thing we do, we open up, refresh the dashboard here. We're gonna refresh forexscalper.io trend detection. And we're gonna kind of just go through it and we're gonna see which pairs are trending. And uh, today we had quite a few successful trades. So of course, before any of this was here, we were looking to go long only. So NAS 100 is green, so that means we buy only. So let's open NAS 100. I always prefer to use OANDA, that's just my personal preference. And let's take a look here at what we had. So let's open the one minute chart and we were looking to go long only. So long only, which means this right here, could have been a potential reversal to the upside. This right here, breakout to the upside, breakout to the upside, right here, breakout to the upside. We had nothing here as we didn't really get a close because then we had this candle here. It wasn't a strong structural close. Here, potential reversal, which we got because Remember, we're only anticipating trades to the upside. So this right here, that, let's change this up a little bit. There we go. This candle right here, all of these candles, are strong structural closes. They close above in a strong way and then they retest and they keep going, right? So it's a stronger close. Then we have the FSB line here. And as you can see, we had a very strong bullish candle close above it. Then we had a little bit of consolidation and we slowly start continuing back up. That's a very valid trade, and we're only taking buy trades. You see, without forexscalper.io, without the trend detection, 
a lot of traders would have been mistaken to enter here only to get a pullback and continue to the upside where the real trend is. Okay, so let's continue here. We're not taking anything here because there was no strong breakout to the upside. Here is a potential reversal, which we did indeed get. And then of course, here is a very strong structural break. Here is a strong break above the FSB line. Right here. And then we have a little bit of consolidation and we continue to climb to the upside. And these are a lot of pips. This is NASDAQ. NAS 100 moves a lot on the one minute. And then we had the end of the day consolidation. Okay, so that's what I was looking for here. Breakouts to the upside only because PFL green. Let's take a look at, um, let's go to Tesla quickly. So Tesla to PFL green, which means what? Which means we only take long trades. We're only taking trades to the upside only. Now, mind you that on this vertical line breaker right here, that's actually when this PFL appeared. So we have this to work with for this day. Now in this consolidation right here, still we're only taking buy trades. Yes, of course you can take sells. Of course you can, but that defeats the purpose of this two-step system, which keeps you as a trader disciplined and in line to follow a proven routine as a trader, not to come to the charts every day, randomly selecting a chart and then going long and short, and eventually you're going to get burned out and blow your account. Consistency and discipline, and you must have a routine. So let's open up Tesla because we're only taking buy trades. Okay, Tesla here. Okay, so here's the structure and here's where it started. This is today. This is, so here we had the FSB line break. Right here, let's change the color. And then we go to the upside. Now we have this FSB line here. We tap it a few times, nothing yet. So there's no entries. And then we have a strong break right here. Strong break above the FSB line. Little bit of consolidation. And then we had another bullish move. That right there, if that's not confirmation to you, then you need to go back and you need to back test this. You can back test this all you want on TradingView. But when you back test it, keep in mind that you're only trading in line with forexscalper.io trend detection. And then here, almost had a breakout, but we did not break out. We reversed, started consolidating here, came down. FSB, and now we have a breakout, but the market just closed. Okay, this is Tesla. Let's review EuroCAD. You know, EuroCAD was an interesting one. I actually took EuroCAD myself personally. In this, we're gonna cover not a breakout, but we're gonna cover an FSB reversal. So I wanna show you something here. If you can see this right here, These are the four different types. So you can, you can save this on your screen. I'll be sending this out to all of our members. And I'm gonna add it to the eye icon menu on the right side of the platform. You can, you can save this. These are the four different patterns that can happen with FSB. The four different signals. Depending on what the trend detection is showing, whether it's green or red, that will indicate then it'll filter down to two different signals that we can take, okay? Of course, if we have PFL green, we're only taking these two trades here. FSB breakout, 
or an FSB potential reversal. That's when the price breaks out to the downside of an FSB line. But instead of taking shorts, of course, never take, never trade against Forex scalper. We're anticipating a reversal. Now you can trade this or you can just anticipate it. It sure as hell is going to filter it out so you don't take short trades. Same thing here. Then if it's PFH or red, then here is an FSB breakout. This is exactly what it's going to look like. Or price is going to come back up here. It's going to create an FSB line signal. And you're anticipating not a breakout. You're not trading this long, of course. You're anticipating a reversal. Here's an M formation. And there's your cue to go short. So here's EuroCAD. Where's EuroCAD? Let's open up EuroCAD here. 5 PFH. We're only taking short trades. Now let's come here on the 15th of February, right? Let's open up the chart. Only short trades, EuroCAD. Let's open up a 30 minute chart. And here's a great example of a reversal. You know that the PFH, the red is here. We know that we're only looking for short trades. So we're not taking this long. We're not taking anything long. We're only taking short. As price came here, as price slowly started coming here, right as price started touching around the lower high, which is right here, the FSB line activated. Price closed above the FSB line, gave us a few dojis, a few wicks. And of course, we're anticipating a reversal, right? Because this is in a bearish trend, PFH. We had some candles, candlestick patterns that are quite, that look very bearish. And we entered the trade short. Let's take a look at Bitcoin. Then we can take a look at even crude. Crude oil is very good, just in a very slow bullish trend. Okay. Here's BTC USD. Phenomenal trade, by the way. Absolutely phenomenal. Right here is where the trend detection caught the trade. Absolutely phenomenal. You can trade this without the FSB, even just following this trend detection. But I recommend to follow a two step system but it's universal and you can trade it. You can add it to your strategy. You can trade it the way you want to trade it. Two PFL, we're only looking for longs. Let's come here, Let's open up Bitcoin chart. Beautiful. So we come here to the most recent price action. And of course, here, Right, A lot of traders will, will mistake this for some kind of bearish pattern. We know better. We follow the trend detection on forexscalper.io and we know that this right here, this breakout is just an anticipation. It's a potential reversal. So we wait. We don't necessarily need to trade this and just take a blind buy. We wait, we anticipate. Now price consolidates for a little bit and then we had the FSB line activate and price broke out very significantly, consolidated and continued to the upside. Broke out here and pushed extremely high to the upside. Now we had some consolidation here. We waited and then again, the FSB line right here marks it. We had a little bit of consolidation and then we push right through here 
and we continue pushing and it's a beautiful breakout trade. One, in line with forexscalper.io and two, we take the breakout on FSB. Let's take a look at how this plays out in real time and you can back test this all you want as well. Replay. Let's come here and let's start replaying. So as you can see, we already broke out here and you're free to enter the breakout. No lagging effect, none of that. There you go, already FSB breakout. Very strong break. You go to the upside, you have two, both things are in line. Trend detection is bullish and the FSB line fired. So those are a few examples that I wanted to show. I hope that makes sense. We can do another count back. See, we have the current day here. So let's change this. So we had one, two. That's why it says two right here. Let's come here. Pound USD. Now we're gonna have, of course, this just updated half an hour ago. So it's gonna be one, two, two days back. It's not too important. What's important now is that pound USD is now in a new bearish trend. So we would open up pound USD. I use Oanda, that's just my preference. We have the one minute chart here now. Obviously we'd wait for London or New York session for some additional volatility. Take a look at the five minute and see what kind of entries we have. Here's a potential for a reversal already because we're only taking short trades now. And what I usually like to do is I like to just scavenge through. So I like to add the pairs that I trade here and just kind of go through and see what's See what trend, see what's trending very smoothly, right? Seems to be trending very smoothly and you're just getting, getting a feel for everything here. USD Japanese Yen trending very smoothly. We took a look at USD Japanese Yen, I believe. Took a look at it earlier. We had a lot of great signals here. FSB breakout to the upside, breakout to the upside and breakout three very strong signals here, only buys because bear, uh, bullish trend. I've been trading pounds R, extremely volatile, made a video on it recently as well. Euro GBP, new trend here. So I'm anticipating, I'm anticipating some kind of bullish movement. So of course, we'd wait for the FSB signal to give us some kind of entries, right? So that covers it for now. I will be releasing more videos on stop loss and take profits, but in general, I'm just trying to cover the basics just so you guys can master how to use this two-step system. Or if you wanna just master how to use each individual component and add it to your existing trading strategy, it's universal. That's why I built it like this, so that uh, you can kind of um, use this in your own unique way. All right, thanks guys.